Well, it's actually starting to sprinkle today. Um, which is a good thing. And that means I don't have to work in the heat anymore. Uh, let's get to work before it really starts raining, huh? Okay, so now we got our second layer of plywood in. So this here, theoretically, is ready for a tile. Um, obviously that has a lot more work uh, involved in it. But more importantly, now we know how much plywood we have so we can patch that in for siding. So over here, we have these pieces, right? Well, we want our plywood to be flush with this, but our plywood's three quarters of an inch thick. So what we're gonna have to do is rip us down some studs that are only, well, this minus three quarter, uh, one here, one here, the plywood will sit there. Same thing over here, we'll rip off all this old siding, rip this back a little bit so this can sit flat, and then we'll put one here, one here, and then we'll put several studs across the top for the plywood to sit across, and then we'll side it, then we'll put some trim around it, and then we'll, uh, we'll be done. But, sounds much easier said than done, so let's get started. So, what we are doing here was we we're removing the current siding. This is just cedar shake shit. Removing the siding from that they had right here so we can bring this out, lay the plywood in. We had to remove some from this side as well because, like I said, it's coming out. Um, so I had gotten the wife to sign off on this, um, she signed off on this, uh, whole, uh, siding it so the rain doesn't catch on the door and blah, blah, blah. Um, but what you do is you only partially inform them of things because she didn't know that this side was gonna have to come off too. And so once I get the new siding on, uh, not only is it gonna be mismatched, but then this is gonna have to go in a completely new way. So keep them partially informed and you'll get them to sign off on projects that you've been wanting to do this whole time. This is my lazy, lazy helpers and camera crew. Just, just lazy. Look at, look, look at. Lazy. As you're all just sitting I'm there. Watching Wendy, calm yourself, okay? No, I get it. Wendy is a. Uh, Wendy is a staple in this household. You even have a mug of it. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'll probably end up going because you just go to Home Depot every day. Like every, three times a day. Every every day. Yeah, you're lucky if you only have to go once. That's like, that's like a very good day. I swear, these kids are some of the best laborers <laughs> money can buy. Wait. Well, you don't pay us. no, I, I I don't pay you. You're correct you about that. You don't However, however, anyone else who needs laborers Stop right there. could no. rent these children no. for a fee Stop it. Stop it right there. and all proceeds will end up going to Home Depot at some point in time. Ain't that true, Stevie Wonder? Stevie who? Stevie who? Oh my God. So what we've done here is we've made these shorter studs 
or we rip down some studs to where when we put the plywood on it will be flush with this right here so then our siding can run straight across there not a problem and we did the same thing over here where that's well that's a little out of flush but not too bad so it'll come over here and run straight across there all the way on up and then we'll put the rest of the plywood in from here up like i said we are just uh piecing this in with with whatever plywood we have left because at <clears throat> 85 dollars a sheet um yeah we'll, we'll splice in however we can splice it in and these are the things we have to deal with is this little girl right here you nasty When's the te last time you washed the ass out? Yesterday. You better have. Because you're nasty. you nasty. That motherfucking nasty too. No, I'm not. Don't lie. I you ain't got to lie, Craig. I had my oatmeal this morning. you nasty. Nope. Move, you dumbass. <laughs> So as you can see, we have all the plywood up. Now we got to put down the uh, plastic layer or sheeting or whatever the fuck they call it. I think it's just like a moisture barrier. But we'll take uh, our staple gun, staple all the plastic up. I believe my lovely wife has some already pre-painted uh, uh, siding pieces that I used over there I don't think I use them all so we'll end up bring them back, back down over here uh, hopefully we can get this thing sided today that would be awesome alright so guess what Me. we're back we're back at home at dad's favorite store yeah what is it what is it I wouldn't quite call it my favorite store, but it's the store I go to the most. Yeah. That's for sure. I mean, it's not my favorite store either. We what almost... What I like about it is, um, one time my uncle, um, um, he let me ride on those things, like, you, like, push around, and it's, like, flat. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Well, we're not going to do all that because all we got to do is I get know. finished nails. Yeah, I know. You know? Yeah. So, as I've said on numerous occasions, I am not a professional. So, most of this is just doing it and then learning from my mistakes. So, I don't know if you can really tell um, from the camera and all that good stuff. But, see, that trim and siding job, what I had done was I stuck that siding back behind the trim around the window. And then what it in turn did was it started buckling it out, like boom, boom, boom. And it followed the contour of the siding. Um, like I said, you can't really see it from down here. You can't see it on the video. But I could see it when I was up there. So, what we are doing is this time we're learning from our mistakes. And we're putting the trim on first. Put the trim for the doorway on first. Don't look half bad if I say so myself. And then we're going to side up to the sides of the trim. And then we will caulk those sides and call it good. This is where we're at so far, and I think we're doing all right. As you can see, it's coming along. It's coming along actually pretty well, considering I think it looks pretty good. Um, I did not expect it to turn out looking this well, um, especially not with just me. The whole time I'm sitting here thinking, oh shit, I need my grandpa, I need my grandpa, I need to call him, I need him to come over. 
Man, that motherfucker left on a trip. But you know what? I think he's taught me enough to where maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do this. Ain't nothing fuck that I can fuck up that I can't fix. Hell yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. I got it all sided in, trimmed up. Uh, obviously. So the wife signed off on doing just this straight wall. Um, tomorrow. So this will end up matching that. And then this other wall. will be the same all down there obviously for for these reasons so that my friends is how we build out a wall so your door is in a shelf for rain I think it looks pretty damn good actually if I do say so myself uh, sorry that there wasn't like any other videos of me working or doing it or whatever my camera crew uh took the day off and uh basically said fuck dad so there we go